Welcome again to your super show, The African Beat on the Voice of America. Earlier on the show, I told you that my guest is from Ethiopia. He is a legendary Ethiopian singer, songwriter, producer, you name it, everything. You know, and he is Tshome Mitiku. Welcome to The African Beat, Tshome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, David. Thank you. Wow. Legendary, legendary Mitiku. Now, tell me about, uh, about your musical career, just a little bit of how it all started and... Well, I started in school and uh, had Slasia first day school when I was a kid. And then I grew up with it. And then all the way when I became a teenager, I went in and started playing in a different uh, clubs in around Addis Ababa and around the city. And, you know, when I recorded some of the uh, prettiest records of all time, four or five of my uh, 45 records of that time. So I uh, became popular and, you know, and that was way back in the 60s. Yeah, way back in the 60s. In the yeah. 60s, wow. Yeah, yeah. Are you still looking good? No, oh, I'm <laughs> hanging there. <laughs> I'm okay. hanging there. <laughs> so, and, uh, you know, during those years, like you said, you recorded some of your best, you know, uh, um, songs uh, during those, those teenage age. Yeah. Uh, and I got to understand that you had to actually leave Ethiopia for Sweden. Yes, I did. And uh, uh, that was in 1970. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, there was a little disturbance within the country and uh, there was a, it was a condition whereby, you know, like, uh, you know, m music was almost impossible to play within the cities. Yeah, because you're not allowed to stay out late, yeah, uh, exactly. coffee or all that. And stuff, yeah. So uh, I decided uh, to leave for Scandinavia it was, and then I landed up in Sweden mm -hmm. and I uh, lived there for, for more than uh, 20 years. Wow. Yeah. And uh, you, you started a band in Ethiopia in, in your teenage years. Tell me about this band. Well, there was the most famous band of all time. It uh, was uh, like uh, mid-60s. And the band is called uh, the Soul Echoes Band. And uh, we used to play all kinds of music, like the 50s beat, rock and roll, uh, some blues, and uh, uh, modern uh, Ethiopian uh, melodies. And uh, the band was... I mean, so great that I, I don't think they are replaceable, you know. Okay. Some of the guys are almost irreplaceable. Like, All right, let, let, let's come. To, uh, um, you're going to play some songs for us today with your band here. And uh, the first song is Abesal. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this song. Oh, this song, Abesal, the, the very first song we're going to play right now is, it's, it's just like... Uh, saying that the four seasons ambassador is one of the tunings of ethiopian melodies and it is uh, a, a major tuning uh, but within the ambassador is an area in the uh, uh, northeast part of uh, ethiopia too there is an area called ambassador so the words got two three different meanings it means major in music and uh, 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 a name of an area in wolo and at the same time in the lyrics it says uh, uh, it mentions the four tunings of Ethiopia, Ambassel, Batuye, Anchoye, and uh, Tzita. So I'm trying to combine those two and make them four seasons. And all those songs are your original compositions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All yeah. of them? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get to the song right now. Ambassel. It's a beautiful song. I've heard it, and uh, I'm sure you're going to love it. This is by Tishomi Mitiku, right now on The Voice of America. Oh, 
Ambassa, beautiful music, lovely tune there by our great legend here in the studio with us on the African beat. All right. Now, um, you have been out of Ethiopia for a very long time. When was the last time you went back to Ethiopia? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the last time is next time, maybe. I haven't been there ever since I left Ever Ethiopia. since you left in yeah. 1970? Yeah, 1970. I haven't been. I haven't returned you know, uh, our country's got a little problems, you know. When you decided, oh, I'm going next year, and then something happens. Okay. And then I decide, so uh, uh, I never I never went back. So, so, so well, how, how, uh, how is your music and the Ethiopian community in general, all over the world, where you've traveled so far? Oh, they love it. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a people's guy. I play music that they like, and they love my composition. And uh, most of all, they like my... Uh, uniqueness of in my music composition 
uh, like a different kinds of uh, melodies, different kinds of rhythms, different kinds of songs. So they love that. They love that. Yeah, I, I, see, love I see you play a combination of jazz, rock and roll. Yeah, you know, soul, blues, jazz, rock blues. and roll. Yeah, so wonderful. Uh, I've been doing fusion for the last uh, uh, 40, 50 years. Hmm. You know, so uh, even the very first melodies I did when I lived in Ethiopia was uh, fusion, rock fusion, well, blues well, fusion, jazz. Um, uh, don't you think... Um, the people in Ethiopia will be listening to you right now on the on the Voice of America, right? Mm. Don't you think they are being deprived of their legendary singer that he, they have not seen him for all these years? Don't you think they want to see you? Oh yeah, they want to see me. People write me, email me, text me, and ask me and invite me to go uh, to come back home and perform for them. But I love to perform for them too. It's just that you know maybe. There's, there's time for everything. There's time. <laughs> there's, time, there's time for everything. I got that. I got that. All right. You're listening to the African Beat on the Voice of yeah, America. Yeah. And my guest is the legendary Tishomi Mitiku from Ethiopia. And uh, now let's talk about the next song that I, that I want to play. Uh, you, you're going to perform for me right here. And that is uh, Almu Wadishalu. Almu, Almu is, Almaz is uh, a name of a girl. It means diamond. What wow. shallow means I you love you. have a you. lot of diamonds in Ethiopia? I think Just we're like coming from there. Michael we're coming. <laughs> we could be some of the biggest. Yeah. And Almo Dishalo means Almas, I love you. And uh, it is uh, this song, I did it uh, when I was in school. Hmm. But I jazzed it up a little bit, you know, formulated it uh, a little bit, and then, you know, add up some, some spice to it. But uh, this song's uh, always love it because it reminds me of Almas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why and, still, you know, I, I, begin to, I begin to imagine <laughs> when you were in school and all these young almonds were around and then you <laughs> sing the song man oh god you, you can imagine were like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine what it's gonna be all the almonds are just lined up there uh-huh. it's just pick and choose <laughs> just pick and choose man all right here we go voice of america african beat and the next song is almonds wadisha lu and this is for all the diamonds out there all the, you know you know <laughs> let's get it on <laughs>
Beat on the Voice of America, Almo Wadesha, Lou, beautiful song. It's hot, and I'm sure you people are enjoying it. And to all my listeners out there in Ethiopia, all of you guys in um, the University of Addis, I know you're listening. I know it's late out there, but you always listen to the African beat. And so, this particular part of the program, I dedicate to you. All right, now let me come back to my guest, uh, to show me Mitiku. Uh, I understand uh, your daughter is a very wonderful singer, too. Oh yes, she is uh, very famous, and uh, she is a Grammy winner. Wow! She took nineteen, I think, ninety-eight uh, uh, European Grammy, and she is now uh, 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 signed in for Warner Brothers UK, and uh, she is she is a great musician. So um, sometimes um, our people, especially our parents, don't like us going into the arts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you started it when you were in school. Yes. Uh, did you meet some difficulties? And uh, what about your daughter? Did you actually encourage her to get into music? Oh, I do encourage her. I wanted her to be a musician, an artist of any kind, and she did that. Plus, she, you know, uh, they, she went through the uh, regular academic work. She did that, so she done what is uh, required of her. Required of her. Yeah. So she she's done everything. In my part. Uh, my, my parents wasn't that, you know, like, uh, don't do this, don't do that. As long as you are okay and you love it, uh, they both of them are uh, are willing to uh, to let you play whatever you want to play. But uh, my mother's side was more the artistic part, and my mother played a whole lot of songs. I mean, when she plays, you just... Your mother down. too was a musician? She wasn't a musician, but she sings wow. like an angel. Hmm. And so I was just sitting down and listening to her and just consuming the, the lyrics, the, the poetry and the songs together, especially when she sings uh, Bati and Ambassal. So it was it was just, that stayed in me. And uh, with that in mind, I just didn't want to be anything else. But Do you remember to, some of, some one or two of the songs that your mother used to sing? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Can, you, can you just give me an acapella of one of it? Rabati bati bati ganda de yu Rabati bati bati ganda de yu Enadra ya mi moga Sesha faf no si And then what 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 are you saying there? Uh, uh bati is is a minor uh tuning means minor and then uh, in tuning within the and there's uh, an area in Wolo province in Ethiopia called Bati where those beautiful girls come out wow. most beautiful girls are either from Bati or Ambassa so uh, when you when she sings at a Bati Bati she's saying uh, she's uh, pre focusing the area the area yeah, okay. the area where are you Bati uh, all those beautiful Where are you, are beautiful? Yeah, exactly. Come around. Yeah. All right. Et cetera, and so forth. <laughs> the African beat on the voice of America. All right. And uh, now I have another track that I want to ask you about. Etamete. Oh, Temete. Temete. Etamete. Uh, Etamete is like, uh, it's a name given to all women uh, closer to your mother mm-hmm. or your father. Uh, we call it Temete Almaz, Temete Abbevej, Temete Kere. It means ant in its literal sense. Mm-hmm. But uh, it, it's closer than that. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's Just closer. like uh, even from us down in the West, uh, yeah. um, any woman that is closer to your parents, we all, all call them aunties if there is a man or uncle. Uh, exactly, that's okay. the Temete. So the song is uh, uh, about Temete. Uh, you smell like your fragrance is like like a lemon. Uh, your words are like an angel. But uh, be careful about this man who's trying to cheat you into mm. something different that you don't like. So the, I'm in the song. I'm warning Temete not to do it. So um, 
this song is it from uh, a true story? Oh, oh this song is <laughs> it happens every day. This song has been sung for by every child in Ethiopia. It is that uh, the, the kind of version I gave it. I gave it a, a blues jazz version to it, and and uh, and changed uh, changed the the harmony around it, and uh, uh, try to give it uh, neoclassic. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a mate. Let's hear this one now, and uh, we we'll dedicate it to all the aunties out there, all <laughs> the women that are very close to our parents. We we'll dedicate it to you because we always call you aunties anyway. So this one is going out to you, right on the African beat, the voice of America, and from my guest Tishio Mimitiku from Ethiopia. <laughs> Thank you. 
Every tip of light I'm on a rise of low Yeah, let him blow the low and low And then I'll bring you a company Yes, ho, namo, tia, tata It's a beautiful music, and uh, the, your voice is so powerful. Your voice. There's something about your voice. Well, that's something that I inherited from my mom, and <laughs> it's God-given, and it's still rocking me. It's yeah. still rocking you, <laughs> man. Oh, oh, all right. And, and I see that, you know, because of the blend of your music, the jazz, soul, you know, you name it. Um, you've also performed in some very big on very big stage uh, around the United States, like in New York. I understand that uh, last year you played at the Chicago Jazz Festival yeah. with over 80,000 people out there watching you. Yeah. What uh, was it like? It was, I mean, the ocean of people and it was a big orchestra. I mean, just like 13-man piece orchestra. And the performance was uh, uh, so great that I didn't even want to stop singing when mm. I was out on the stage. I mean, it was so beautiful. The orchestra was good. The public was so nice and the weather was so beautiful. And uh, we jazzed up uh, some of the melodies that are that I had a, a song with the, either orchestra. So uh, the whole thing was, you know, just, just reliving, reincarnation. You can say that when you stand up on the stage and see all thousands of people and sing one of the uh, traditional Ethiopian song fused in jazz. In jazz. Yeah, unbelievable. I wow. Mean. And the American public just loved it, just loved it. Say, wow, what is this, you know? So what what we're trying to bring about is a new concept of 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 uh, mixing different cultures and bring about uh, new kind of ideas out of the music or in, great, in other culture. Great. So beautiful, wonderful, beautiful experience. All right, now you've been in this thing in this music business for uh, as long as you can remember, yeah. and uh, you're still going strong. You're still jazzing it up, like you're saying. All right, so there are young younger folks coming up, and uh, they're looking up to people like you. What what would you advise? What advice would you give? Well, my advice is just to keep on doing what they're doing and uh, uh, don't be afraid of changing our music. You know, it's, this goes for all Africa. And it's not only Ethiopian. For all Africa, they change it like uh, Kuti in West Africa did it mm -hmm. and, and, and like uh, the, the Congolese are doing it and the Kenyans are doing it. So uh, you have to be able to change. I mean, everything is done for a change. Nothing can stay stagnant, mm -hmm. you know. Even we change as human being, so uh, what the only advice uh, or advice and give to young upcoming musicians is just do your thing, change it, 
don't be afraid. You know, don't look for the people to come and like you at the moment. They won't like it. They will come, look, start liking you a year or two years afterwards. Right away, yeah, you don't expect anything because anything new is surprise. Mm. So be be aware of that and go ahead and change it and rock it. That's it. So, all right. Well, that's beautiful. And uh, the final song we'll be playing today is going to be Hasabe. And we'll talk very shortly about Hasabe. But um, the people, your people in Ethiopia, you want to say hello to them you want to send any message that those who will be yearning for you a lot of them are out there and they, they, they want you so you want to send a message to them well yes uh, now my message to them is I love you I like you and I'm your son and I belong to you and I'll always I promise you I'll always do the music that you like and till the end of my life and I'll be you know your 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 entertainer and that is great that yeah. is great that is a wonderful message it's a wonderful message now what 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 is asabi asabi is my thought it's a thought process of a th a, a, a thought of uh, it could be a girl it could be a country it could be a village it could be anything but your thought of the moments thought of the moments but uh, it can reflect in love a relationship you know, it's uh, asabe means a thought. That you are my thought, you are my feeling, you are my reality, you are my truth, you mm -hmm. are my my everything. You know, so asabe uh, asabe is a very famous uh, song in Ethiopia. Well, that is what we're going to climax with today. But yeah. um, just before we climax with that, your journey has been a long one, tedious one, I want to believe. And uh, hap there are happy days, there are sad days in your yeah. journey. So. Give us a little bit of your ups and downs through the, throughout this journey. Well, <laughs> <laughs> my app, uh, the happiest moment of my life is is uh, when my daughter is born. And, uh, and and the down period of my life is when I lost my mother about a year ago. Mm. Uh, Sorry about that. That was that was the saddest part of my life. But these are the two big things that has happened in my life. The rest is history. Let's leave it as that. Well, I want to thank you. You're welcome. Uh, to show me Mitiko, <laughs> the legendary singer, songwriter, producer, and everything, you name it, from Ethiopia, who is my guest today. I want to thank you for accepting my invitation to come here. Thank you, David. Uh -huh. And uh, on behalf of all of our fans out there, all the, the engineers on duty right now, I want to thank you. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, listening to the African beat in your cars, on the streets, in your homes, in your living rooms, in your bedroom, wherever you are, I want to thank you in particular. Till then, I am David Vandy, and my guest is Tishome Mitiku from Thank Ethiopia. You. Thank you. Thank David. you very much, and I'll leave you with Asabe right now. <laughs>